Hey y'all, how you doing? I am suffering canning withdrawals. So while I was at the store, they had 20 pounds of potatoes on for $2.49. Folks, you can't beat that. And they were good looking potatoes. Um, I've already got them peeled and I cut them in pretty large chunks. I put them, folks, this is why I say I need large mouth lids. This is the jars that I use. They come out easier. The little small mouth jars beat your potatoes up when you're trying to get them out. But my canner will hold six quarts at a time. One of these days, I'm going to get one of those wonderful things that I can put two layers of quarts in. But for right now, but the good, th the good thing about it is it doesn't take long for potatoes. Um... The only thing I have learned about potatoes that I will tell you you really need to do is soak them. There are two schools of thought on canning potatoes. Some people put them in a big pot and bring them to a boil and let them simmer for 10 minutes. Well, if you do that and then you pressure can them for 40 minutes, you're going to end up with mush. But I cold pack mine, which means I let them soak. I pack them in my jars, I pour hot water over them, a teaspoon of salt, and then I pressure them for 40 minutes. I never had a problem with potatoes doing them this way. This is the way my mom did them. It's the way I do them. Um, it's not necessarily the FDA method of canning potatoes, but we really don't want to get me started on the government's idea of what its citizens can and cannot do. We're just not going to go there. But anyway, I've got my jars nice and washed. I've got my lids washed. And I've got my tet potatoes. They've been soaking for about 45 minutes and I've rinsed them again. That takes a lot of the... S Somebody coming in the back door. Who coming in the back door? The families coming in the back door in the middle of my video. <laughs> it's Sarah and an Eskimo. Oh. Is it that cold out there? It's just kind of, it's the wind chill. Is the wind? Yeah. Okay. But I mean, you bundle up, it's, it doesn't feel that bad. I could go yeah. for a small, look, look, it frosted the glass. <laughs> That's one good thing about having a cold drink outside on a cold day. Excuse me. You interrupted my fog <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to show you how I pack them in jars. Quake law. Please do not. The evilness went through my mind. <laughs> no, that's why I said please do not. Oh, dude, are those those sweet pickles? She was bent over. I was going to swat her. Okay, it's easier to do this if you drain your potatoes. Yeah, sweet pickles. Hmm? Sweet pickles! And they even have juice in them. I know. They're not they're about to not do. <laughs> okay, folks. I have my canner over there. It's got about this much water in the bottom. It's heating up. What am I doing? You know I have. My scooper. Do you need something sassafras? No. Oh, this is going to work perfect. Too many. Let me see if I can tilt it down so y'all can see what I'm doing. There. There. That's better. Okay. Drain these. What are you doing, sassafras? No. You need sweet pickles. You need sweet pickles. They're both pickles, honestly. You might ask, why pan potatoes when you can cook them 
on the stove pretty quickly. While yes, what you say is true, we can can't we can cook them on the stove pretty quickly. I'm getting a side eye over here for some reason. I ain't doing nothing. Okay. We want to pack them down in there a little bit. Make sure your jars are on a couple of layer of towel if you're going to tap them. Well, that one's too full. And my hands are clean. Girlfriend, you need to go find something to do. Why? You're bothering me. So why do you can potatoes? Why do I can potatoes? So that when I come home in the evening and I'm tired and I've worked all day and I have canned potatoes on the rack in there and I have canned beef tips which for some reason I don't have anymore. Wonder why that is. Yes. Why are you talking about me giving the side? You just straight, straight your hand in there. I can I can put an, Sarah doesn't like it. But I can put an onion and some bell pepper in a skillet and get it to go in and then drain these potatoes real good dump them over in there and cook them slow so that is some good stuff sounds good i love onions and bell peppers Blech. don't you like bell peppers no no she's weird I'll eat a bell pepper like that. I will too. Y'all are weird. Y'all call me weird. And I had a hard time keeping bell peppers around Madison Day. Because she did eat them like that. Mm -hmm. She still will. And I'm going to fill my jars up with hot water. God, you can stand the water. Huh? Oh. Really? <laughs> yeah. Nice. Okay, we're going to fill these jars up, and then I'm going to pack them down, and I guarantee you I will have to add some more water. Just remember, if you use chicken broth, you got to do them for 90 minutes, not 40. That's why I don't do them in chicken broth. Why you got to do them for that much? Because chicken is a meat product. And you have to can it. If you've got a meat product in there, you have to can it as long as you would a meat product. These don't have any meat in them. They're vegan potatoes. <laughs> I made a funny. I'm on the in the background. You can see a gallery. But, uh... She's starving. You're starved. Well, I'm going to fix you dinner as soon as I get these in the canner. I'm going to feed you, you poor little deprived thing. My stomach's not in my backbone. Well, it's got a ways to go. Wow. <laughs> wow. I know, I know, I know. You're supposed to use plastic. But I broke my plastic. I'm going to get the money. Hey Sarah, what am I doing right here? Uh, Come on, you have watched me can. You know what I'm doing. Getting out of the air bubbles? Very good. I just landed that note for the bed. This child. Look, man, I don't do good on tests. Test. I mean, it was a test-like question. Let me go in there. You want that non-test-like question? Whatever. And you want to pack them down in there pretty easy, pretty good. Because as they cook, they're going to pack down. Vinegar. And a paper towel. Wow. Don't forget to clean your lid, your rims. Any piece of anything on your rim will stop that little piece of rubber from sealing. <laughs> and the canning companies cheated us. They cheated.
changed it. <laughs> For the, you, those of you that don't know, you don't have to boil your lids. You don't have to store them in boiling water, nothing like that. You just got to make sure they're nice and hot. And I just lost a ring. And it's, oh, the, can't have nice things. it's the same as always. Don't crank that lid down. Turn it finger tight, which means use your fingers and tighten it. If you crank it down, it ain't going to seal well. I've got a missing ring. I bet it jumped off in my soapy water. Pew. It did. That's okay. We'll rinse it. Okay. Now we have our first load ready. Where's my... Oh no, Mr. Bill! Get out of my whipping cream, girl! What is wrong with you? There they are. These children are out of control. <laughs> then we're gonna set them down in our canner. But I really don't need that. <laughs> I see you over there. I'm not doing that one. You may not feed you. Abuse. You want to put them in, but you don't want your jars to touch. And in mine, I can get six quarts in here. All right. They're not touching the wall. They're not touching each other. This is my lid. I had someone on my last video ask me, what keeps it from exploding? Well, there's a couple of things going to keep it from exploding. One, you're going to keep an eye on it. And make sure this gauge does not go above what you need it to. But this little rubber thing right here, if you were to let it get too hot, it will blow this. The only other thing will make your lid blow and, and cause massive damage is not putting it on there correctly. But if you line up, where is it? There's arrows right here, and there's arrows on the pot. If you line that up and lock this down, it's not going to explode on you. People, quit watching them stupid YouTube channels. They don't explode unless you do something wrong. There's an arrow right here. Line it up and click it down. Okay. It's the same as when we can anything else. It's a never ending show at my house. Anyway, it's the same as anything. We're going to leave that lid clamped down until it starts a steady stream of steam. And we're going to start a timer at 10 minutes. And it's going to stream for 10 minutes. Now, I want to tell you something I noticed. And this is just, I don't know if it's scientific. I don't know what it is. But this little thing right here, it's a little pop-up gauge. If you let your camera steam for 10 minutes, that little thing will pop up almost right at 10 minutes. That means everything, all the air has been pushed out and it is steaming. Then, we put our little weight on. Here's our little weight. We put our weight on, and when it comes up, in my area, I'm at sea level, so I have 10 pounds of pressure. We're going to cook it for 40 minutes for 10 pounds of pressure. Now, folks, you've got to keep an eye on it. That's, that's, that's the drawback of canning. You have to keep, it's not a set it and forget it thing. You have to keep an eye on it. Will it hurt it if it print, cooks at 15? No, it's not going to blow up. But you're going to cook your potatoes plumb to death. But you have to keep it at least 
at 10 pounds. If it's between 10 and 12, you're fine, but keep it at 10. Uh, don't let it go below 10 because you're not, you're not going to get a good seal. Uh, but I'll post a picture of them when I take them out. Let me go fix dinner for these children's before they starve plumb to death, you know. Thanksgiving was two days ago. I'm still trying to detox. How did y'all's Thanksgiving go? We had a good one. My family came here. Um, we had a good day. We had a good day. I enjoyed laughing. It was the first time we'd gotten together since we lost mom. Uh, but it was a good day. It was a very good day. Um, to answer, someone asked me again the other day, why do you can so much? Well, number one, I love it. I really do. I love it. Number two is, I didn't put any salt in those potatoes. Who will? Uh, <laughs> it won't hurt them. It doesn't, you don't have to have salt in for them to uh, can. Um, but number two reason, I know exactly what's in that jar. I know who touched them. I know how they were processed. I know they're not going to last very long on my shelf. 20 pounds of potatoes will yield you approximately 10 jars, quart jars of potatoes. And when these potatoes come out, um, you can use them like you use any potatoes for anything. Like I was explaining to Will, my favorite way is get some olive oil going in a skillet or bacon grease <laughs> going in a skillet. Cut up an onion and some bell pepper. Drain your potatoes and rinse them. That rinses all that starch that's settled. Rinse them. Let them drain just a few minutes and then put those over in the, that onion and olive oil or bacon grease or a combination of both, whatever floats your boat. Put a little Textjoy seasoning on that and let those potatoes uh, cook on low for about 10 minutes. Son, that is good. That is some good stuff. Um, but I'm not a prepper. Someone called me a prepper the other day. I'm not a prepper. Um, and my reasoning for that is, if the world blows up, I don't want to be here. I don't, you know, I don't want to be here. Um, I do have quite a bit of canned food and it's because it's convenient and uh, it's because I know what's in those jars. So, but I'll post a uh, picture at the end of this video of when they're done. Y'all have a good evening.